Hello and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we left off in kind of a weird area. Look, there was a little count countdown timer thing, or maybe it wasn't counting down. It was counting up for some reason. So let's see what that's all about. The Radvansky Center. Where is that? What is that? I don't know. Here we go. There's the little counter. That's about all I saw. So I don't know what's going on. Mimi. Okay. Good morning. Bags has been feeling well last, long last night. Poor kitty. What are you watching? Security tape from last night. Oh, okay, it's security tape. Security tape. I don't know where we are. That this is important. Dare lift the lights on again. Should we should we slash his tire Josh's his tires? <laughs> Me, a bit mean. I leave sir note on his desk. Spare the rod. Hmm, what are we doing today? Right, this is weird, you know the old vending machine. The one only has tomato juice. No no, the the only one that's just not refilling. Remember we rolled it out onto the dock last August and some scavenger stripped it for its metal in the middle of the night. General cut his hand cleaning up after them and it got infected, remember? No. Okay. Anyway, the rest of it ended up in the coat room until finally Daryl was piling it into a bag, big bag for the trash barge back up. And he came across this box lost behind all the junk. Check it out. This looks old. Yeah, there's a bunch of videotapes, completed questionnaires. I looked up the reference number and it's never been processed. So I guess whether that's what we're doing today. There's no date on it. We'll just have to make up one, make one up. Unless there's some footage on the calendar or something here. <laughs> Uh, Jen flipping through questionnaire. I guess these are all old tests before we started doing the video exit interviews. That's annoying. Yeah, let's see. How do we do this? I'll run the tape. You interpret the questionnaire and I'll type it up. So it seems that we're just doing these two um, looking over tape of questionnaires. What's. is that. That looks like Sh uh, Shannon, I think her name was. This is weird. Oh god. Wow, I haven't seen that poster in a while. I think that was mine from college. Yeah, definitely. Oh right, Daryl swapped it out and redesigned. Now it's... What's there now? Yeah, it's... that's weird. I can't picture it. I mean, I can picture the wall and there's definitely something hung there. That's gonna bug. That's gonna bug me. Want me to take a look? I just down the hall. Haha. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, let's take. Oh, okay, there's a bookshelf over here. We'll take a look. The modernist bookshelf with fancy vintage, vintage turntable. Turntable. Oh, I see the turntable. So obst ostentatious. So Daryl. What? That was my, I did the wrong voice. What? That was my bookshelf. My bookshelf. Oh no! Haha. <laughs> but you like grew some something. It grew out of it or something, right? It ended up in a lab somehow. I keep my books in a pile now. It's easier to find what I'm looking for. Never. What shelf is on that book? Only well, it's somewhere in that pile. Pragmatic. I guess we'll sit, because she was looking at things, but they were talking about it. That's weird. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to sit down. Or it doesn't do any good to sit down. What do I do? The only option is to sit down. 
Maybe I just have to wait a minute. Let's wait. Let's play the waiting game. Oh, the waiting game sucks. What am I? Oh, okay. Here we go. Something over here. Looks like a piece of paper. Oh, okay. There it is. Just wasn't popping up for some reason. All right. Questionnaire time. This should be some basic information in the first control test. Subject general disposition. Jen looks over the questionnaire document from the envelope. Why are you here? Response. The passenger said we can make some quick cash taking these tests. Pragmatic. Demographic category. What's the first thing you remember? Bird cage. Uh, I remember a box of small gears. Working class. Hmm. Do you think we should use the old categories or the new categories? Oh right. Oh right. Will the computer even take the old ones? They're still here in the menu. Oh. In that case, put in the precarious. Sure. Oh, have I got name? It says Marquez on the file. So this is Shannon. Well, Marquez, are you sure? That's what it says. Do you know her? That can't be. No, that's not her. Did she come alone or with the group? I don't know. There's an extended monitoring tape here, too. We could check on the dock when she shows up. Okay, on to the next tape, I guess. Oh wait, we're, there's Conway. And he has his, his uh, arm and leg are all messed up. So this, uh, this looks like currently, but it's not. It's the past. Hmm, definitely not. Oh, she's traveling with one of those creepy distillery guys. Him? Now he just looks some old drifter. Maybe you're right. It's hard to tell in this light. Old drifter. I must really look like a bum. Oh, it's... Wait, who's that? The guy in the hoodie. It's... Will. What? I've never seen him before. Really. Looks damn familiar. Thought maybe he was a former intern or something. He's a little old for that, right? No, I don't recognize him. Sorry. Your old deja vu this morning. It's spooky. Sorry. One of those days, I guess. Deja vu. -y. Where are they going? Oh, now Ezra's leaving. Everybody's leaving Conway alone. Poor Conway. Ah, I guess it'll man is dingy, dingy guard duty. A noble assignment. So, who was the lady? Oh, right. Well, do you remember WEVP-TV? No. Okay, it was a community television station. Consolidated Power Company had to fund it as, like... Punishment for owning too much of broadcast spectrum or something. Oh, they used to screen your videos, right? Yeah, it was like co a co-op. I did some maintenance and they gave me a slot to work in. Work, show to work, my work. Slot to show my work. Ugh, can't read today. And they had that naked badge, <laughs> okay. Late at night. Yeah, that was mainly what everyone remembers. I guess their whole mandate was community expression. He was certainly expressive. Oh wait, was WEVP on that one on that the flood, right? Yeah. Damn. So, 
Shannon Marquez, did you have a naked banjo show too? What? No. <laughs> That's funny. These two are kind of funny. Let me guess. Question, which of the following sentences best describes you? Uh, I grieve for a fading memory. Did she do the weather? Did she did the weather? No. I've never heard of Shannon Marquez. It was Weaver Marquez I knew. She worked at the station for a bit. And then she left on kind of weird terms, actually. So she worked on WEVP. So, um, a little bit of background, I guess. Anyways, where were we? Back to the questionnaire. I don't know what that was about. Why were we looking at Conway? Okay, how do we rank her from control test? Without turning, without turning around to look, please describe the following objects. Bookshelf. Oh, I can't look at the bookshelf. Um, it's behind this wall of black. I'm gonna guess four. Is it shaped like a snake? Is it shaped like a transformer coil? Is it nondescript? Nondescript, I guess. Is it remind me of museum, department store, library? Um, library, I guess. It's got books on it. Poster. Circles, scientific. I think it had circles on it. Vintage advertisement. I have a poster in my workshop of vintage advertisement for vacuum tubes. Chart of resist resistor values. I, I guess either. I don't like most of I, I guess vintage vacuum tubes. Since she works with vintage TVs. Lighting. Um, I think there was one lamp. Oh no, wait, maybe it was the, the hum, the humming, um, fluorescent lights, I, I want to say. Um, I'm not sure that, I just, I barely caught it <laughs> before I just decided one lamp without looking. Um, average, I guess. Type, typing, average? Average, okay. Another test. I, I, I suppose I'm getting paid good money for this. Um, am I supposed to sit this time? Yeah, okay. Is there any pile pie left in the break room? Dale finished it off before he we went home last night. There's there's some thin thin ice. You're declaring enemies left and right. What? Who else? That other that other Marquez Weaver, didn't you maybe I misunderstood. I thought it detected some animosity. Oh no. Nothing like that. She was the kind of person you could like or dislike. Really, she was just there, and all you could do was accept her. Like magnetism or gravity. Question. Please describe from memory the following objects. Seating in the room behind you. Uh, couch and a chair. Lighting in the room behind you. Um... Uh, there we go. Fluorescence. I think that's it. I think that's right. Air quality in the last room in which you fell asleep. I don't know how to judge the air quality. I think I fell asleep on the boat for a minute. The air was warm but refreshing. Well, well, this is Marquez. It's pretty normal so far. 
Oh yeah, they're definitely different people. I just wonder if they're related or something. I never imagined we were having any family, but I guess everyone has some family, right? Well, I would think so. I, I mean, you could not be in contact with your family, but they're still there. Reading, distracted. What? Oh, sure, probably. I would say yes. Okay, this goes on to the next test. A cat. What kind of test is this? See if we pet the cat. Jen, look at who it is. It's Mr. Whiskers. Ah, I miss that kitty. I figured it became of the white one. Her name was Coconut and she disappeared without a trace. Easy come, easy go. I wouldn't say easy. I had to leave food on the dock for a week before she'd come inside. She only, st she only stuck around for a month or two. You probably saw quite a lot of her. I remember you working nights, excuse me. I remember you were working nights then. She was a nocturnal creature. That's right, I remember. What's this? Looks like a can of food for the, for the cat. It isn't much of a test. Let's see if we feed the cat. This is like more like a lab rat kind of test. Not really sure what they're measuring here. Wait, I don't remember this test. Oh, did we cut this one? What's the questionnaire like? No, it's just sometimes if I can't make it in for a few days, I might leave a note to feed the cats. For the test, for the shoes. Where'd my voice go? For the test subjects. Wow. How do you know they'll do it? I read it on a uh, university letterhead. Jen, that is unethical. <laughs> At least I don't use university property and research equipment to make weird video art. Farewell then, I contradict myself. Ah. I wonder if the noble transgression, what it, which is the noble transgression? I'll settle that question. It's noble to feed the kitties. Oh, here's another extended monitoring tape from waiting room. That was 11 minutes? Or was the clock just going too fast? It, seemed, it didn't seem like 11 minutes to me. Or maybe it was counting the previous one. I don't know. Busy night. There he is again, sleeping. Where do I know him from? It's going to drive me up the wall. Does he work at the university? Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, I think he might have worked there a long time ago. Maybe when I was an undergrad. Ah, patholo- paleo- lunchigic- thick. paleo -thick. I thought he looked a bit rugged. Yeah, that's right, Jen. I went to college during the Stone Age. What was your major? Fire. I don't think a professor. he was a professor. Maybe staff. It's been so long. Sometimes I wish I'd just barreled through like you did. Instead of taking time off before grad school. Hmm. I wonder if I'm sure the right thing to do at the time. Yeah, or the only thing. I was such a mess. Did I ever tell you about that? My boyfriend died suddenly in my last year of college. Jeez. Man. Ah, oh, poor thing. It's okay. It was a long time ago, but yeah, it really shook me up back then. He was studying astronomy. We were both really into experimental music. We took a few art classes together. That's so sad. How did... Sorry, never mind. No, it's okay. Uh, that's the thing, actually. I mean, that's what shook me up about it. It was just this random accident. It never should have happened. And so sudden, you couldn't have seen it coming. He was back home, visiting his parents, and he fell off a roof. Damn. Oh, she said damn, too. 
damn, I know what you mean. You can't predict that kind of, what do you call it, freak accident kind of thing. My psychiatrist said that's why I'm so pessimistic, I'm such a pessimist. Well, you're remarkably upbeat, all things considered. I mean, you know, that thing with your boyfriend in the roof. But also what happened to the TV station. Acts of God. You think? You think? No, I mean, that's what you call it. That's what you say when it's nobody's fault. Nobody's fault but mine. Um, I don't know what the arrows mean. Oh, maybe it has to do with which direction the just up or down. I don't know why it was left or right. Oh, look, you can read the date. Um, damn, I can't read it either. Man, I've been current. I remember for a while we had a calendar that was uh, like years behind. I like Daryl blank the picture. How far how far are we off in ye in time? What was it? Best friend. Every month there was a different pair of animals that were friends. That's adorable. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> you don't remember that? That weird intern brought it in home from home, um what was his name? Who? Uh, oh, you remember? He was always like, I mean, we'd make fun of him for... Damn, he's almost completely gone from my brain. So many interns come and going then. I guess I didn't bother remembering their names. I wonder who was working back this, when this was recorded. Is there a tape of Modern Room? Yeah, here it is. Oh, before we check that out, did she flip the calendar forward or backwards? Um, backwards. Oh, weird. They usually flip it forward. Yeah, okay, so the, they were d flipping the calendar. I mean, it was to flip the calendar one way or the other. That's weird. That's the whole test. This doesn't seem very scientific. Oh, the little kitty. Kind of a fat cat, isn't it? That Ezra? No. I think that was Shannon. There she goes. Wait, do you think... Did she follow them out? Who's them? Oh, well, here's the last extended Mario day for the dock when they left. Twenty-two minutes. See, I told you it was one of those stereo guys. I guess you were right. Those other guys came to pick him up for work, maybe? I don't like how they all hang out together. It's creepy. Well, the skeletons are creepy. I wonder if they see the skeletons or it's just, just something that I see for some reason. I can't imagine everybody sees them like this. Because nobody's really mentioned it. We hang out together. We work together. Yeah, but it's not... They're like more than co-workers. I don't know. It just gets awful feeling whenever I see them. Like I knew them once, but not anymore. Like when they make up a dead person. When they make up... Like when they make up a dead person to look like an old photograph of themselves. Oh, that didn't sound right to me at first. Sort of familiar, sort of strange. Yeah, exactly. There ought to be a word for that. Oop. That is Ezra, with the cat. Bye, Katie. They look nice enough people. I'm sure very happy with them. Yeah. Whoa, somebody left scratch ticket in this file. Money minefield. Do it. Okay, let's see. Five bucks. Is this the greatest day of my life? Dog, this is the greatest day of my life. 
Oh wait, it's expiring, like really expiring. Damn. Damn. It's uh, Mimi size. I'm over it. That was quick. <laughs> so, this has been a bit of a memory trip for you, huh? I bet you didn't expect these old tapes to stir up much. How does it feel for these people to come up again? Weaver Marquez and Wise Will, I mean, and... Oh wait, this is Jen. What was your boyfriend's name? The one who called, who died in college? Charlie. Yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet experience, actually. Like looking at photographs of people who died or moved away. People that are gone. Gone, but not forgotten. No, not forgotten, you're right. All right. That be the end. No. We kind of. I'm. I've noticed we get to pick different thing, different um, little pieces of conversation, but I, I don't think it really changes much. Look at those easels and tables on the bench over there. They call it an open air gallery. Probably something more upscale like Alfresco Galleria. They say it's a popular design in foreign cities like Paris and New York. That may be true. The appeal is clear though. Clear enough, I guess. Anyone wander in and out. There aren't any walls or doors. There's no roof either. Just kind of a thin cloth membrane. Not quite a sheet or a tarp, but more like a drape of rolled out spider web. Looking like it might bunch up and dissolve it if it ever rained on. No concern down the rain. Everybody thinks they're inside just because they can't see the sky. But it's microclimactic climat climate down there, and it surely does rain. Right now, they're exhibiting some intimate photographs of small town life. Uh, headlight show printed on a man's face. There was a small girl playing a puddle. Pictures all sort of run together. After looking at them in a row, it's hard to come away with specific memories of people's faces. You just kind of get fuzzy after image. The warm residue of a community. No individual meaningful except a bit of contrast or shading. Views have been good, and it's probably a show. Probably because of its relevance. The town depicted in these photos was very recently flattened to make way for a big museum project. Floating down the river. Can have me some peaches. I don't know why I said that. I just had that song. Can eat me a lot of peaches. I took a nap. Ezra helped cage for. F I guess we'll forage for mushrooms, huh? Talked about mushrooms before. A couple times, I think. Oops, that's my phone. Been getting phone calls all day from weird places. Okay, this is the next part of the story, and... Oh my god, I've been on for 28 minutes. That's good. Alright, I will see you next time. Bye.